Among the president's bodyguards, there is one who is not a normal bodyguard. This man is even more stronger than Mike Tyson and Bruce Lee combined. Yes, you heard me right. In the realm of fame and fortune, even seemingly ordinary roles can lead an individual to the spotlight, such as the case with bodyguards, whose profession often goes unnoticed but can bring both recognition and prosperity when serving prominent figures like Rayla Odinga or William Ruto. Rayla Odinga, a prominent Kenyan politician, has long been known for employing some of the most highly trained bodyguards in the country, occasionally even hiring experts from Israel to ensure his safety. Among them, one bodyguard stands out, rumored to be more skilled than many soldiers in the nation. This exceptional bodyguard, whom we'll call the bodyguard, underwent an astonishing 19 years of rigorous training, spending 9 years in Israel and another 10 in Russia. Such extensive training has equipped him with extraordinary abilities, such as the uncanny skill to detect explosives from a considerable distance. It's a testament to the dedication and commitment he's invested in mastering his craft. But enough about that for now, let's delve into today's topic without further delay. Before we proceed, I'd like to encourage you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. By doing so, you'll not only be supporting our channel but also ensuring that you don't miss out on future videos like this one. Now, let's shift our focus to William Ruto's personal bodyguard, Colonel Fabian Langiracha. He assumed the role after succeeding Timothy Lekalul and has been a trusted aide to President William Ruto for some time now. Colonel Langiracha's journey began when he joined the army back in 1999. While some may refer to him as a bodyguard, it's essential to clarify his role. He's not just a security officer but an extraordinary soldier with exceptional qualities. The position of the president's aide-de-camp is often misunderstood. While many perceive it solely as a security role, its primary function is to serve as the president's personal assistant. It takes more than just physical strength to qualify for this prestigious position, it requires a combination of skill, discipline, and unwavering dedication to duty. The ADC serves as the president's right-hand man, attending to various administrative tasks and ensuring the smooth operation of the presidential office. Contrary to popular belief, the ADC is not a bodyguard in the traditional sense. Rather, they play a pivotal role in managing the president's schedule, liaising with security personnel, and representing the president on ceremonial occasions. When foreign dignitaries visit Kenya, it's the ADC who acts as their primary point of contact, upholding the dignity and honor of the presidency at all times. It's worth noting that ADCs undergo rigorous training to prepare them for their duties. From maintaining strict dietary discipline to remaining physically fit for the demands of the job, ADCs must embody the highest standards of professionalism and excellence. While they may not always be visible to the public eye, their contributions are invaluable in and ensuring the safety and well-being of the president. In conclusion, the role of an ADC is far more than just that of a bodyguard. It's a position of immense responsibility and honor, requiring unwavering dedication and commitment to duty. So, the next time you see a presidential aide by the side of a leader, remember the vital role they play behind the scenes. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content like this. Your support means the world to us. Let's delve deeper into the world of presidential security and explore the intricate details of what it takes to become an ADC. The journey of Colonel Fabian Lengiracha, William Ruto's personal bodyguard, provides us with a fascinating glimpse into this elite profession. Colonel Lengiracha's story begins with his humble beginnings in the Kenyan army, where he embarked on a path that would eventually lead him to the prestigious role of a DC. Join me as we unravel the mysteries of presidential security and gain insight into the rigorous training and qualifications required to serve as an ADC. We'll explore the day-to-day -day responsibilities of an ADC, from managing the president's schedule to ensuring their safety during public appearances. Through Colonel Langaracha's journey, we'll gain a deeper understanding of the dedication and sacrifice that goes into protecting our nation's leaders. But before we dive into Colonel Langaracha's story, I'd like to take a moment to express my gratitude for your support. By subscribing to our channel, you're helping us continue to bring you engaging and informative content like this. So, if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining our community of curious minds. Now, let's turn our attention to Colonel Fabian Langaracha and trace his remarkable journey from army recruit to presidential bodyguard. Colonel Langaracha's career in the Kenyan army began in 1999 when he enlisted as a young cadet with aspirations of serving his country. Over the years, he distinguished himself through his exceptional leadership skills and unwavering commitment to duty rising through the ranks to become one of the army's most respected officers. It was Colonel Langiracha's exemplary record and sterling reputation that caught the attention of President William Ruto, who handpicked him to serve as his personal bodyguard and aide-de-camp. 
the role of a DC is not one to be taken lightly, it requires a unique blend of physical prowess, mental acuity, and diplomatic finesse. As President Rudo's ADC, Colonel Langiracha assumed the responsibility of safeguarding the president's life while also attending to various administrative tasks. But what exactly does the role of an ADC entail? Contrary to popular belief, an ADC is not solely focused on providing security for the president. While ensuring the president's safety is undoubtedly a crucial aspect of the job, an ADC's duties extend far beyond that. They serve as the president's right-hand man, assisting with everything from managing their schedule to coordinating official events and engagements. In essence, an ADC acts as a liaison between the president and the rest of their team, ensuring that everything runs smoothly and efficiently. They must be able to anticipate the president's needs and act quickly and decisively to address them. It's a role that requires impeccable organizational skills, exceptional attention to detail, and the ability to remain calm and composed under pressure. For Colonel Langiracha, assuming the role of President Rudo's ADC was the culmination of years of hard work and dedication. It was a testament to his skill and expertise as a military officer, as well as his unwavering commitment to serving his country. Colonel Langiracha's journey from army recruit to presidential bodyguard is a testament to the values of dedication, discipline, and sacrifice instilled in him during his military training. Throughout his career, Colonel Langiracha has faced numerous challenges, both physical and mental. From grueling physical training exercises to high-stress situations requiring quick thinking and decisive action, he has demonstrated his resilience and ability to perform under pressure. But perhaps his most significant challenge has been balancing the demands of his duty with his personal life. Being an ADC requires long hours and frequent travel, often taking Colonel Langiracha away from his family for extended periods. It's a sacrifice he willingly makes in service of his country and its leaders, but one that undoubtedly takes a toll on him and his loved ones. Yet, despite the challenges, Colonel Langiracha remains dedicated to his role, driven by a sense of duty and honor. As we reflect on Colonel Langiracha's journey, we're reminded of the importance of sacrifice and service in the pursuit of a greater good. He serves as an inspiration to us all, demonstrating what can be achieved through hard work, dedication, and unwavering commitment to one's principles. His story serves as a testament to the values of honor, integrity, and patriotism that define the men and women who serve in our armed forces. But Colonel Langiracha's story is not just one of personal sacrifice and dedication, it's also a testament to the importance of leadership and mentorship in shaping the next generation of military leaders. Throughout his career, he has served as a role model and mentor to countless young soldiers, imparting his wisdom and experience to guide them on their own paths to success. As we look to the future, Colonel Langiracha's legacy will endure, inspiring future generations of soldiers to uphold the values of duty, honor, and service. His commitment to excellence and unwavering dedication to his country serve as a shining example of the best of what our armed forces have to offer. In conclusion, Colonel Fabian Langiracha's journey from army recruit to presidential bodyguard is a remarkable testament to the values of dedication, sacrifice, and service. His story serves as an inspiration to us all, reminding us of the importance of upholding the principles of honor, integrity, and patriotism in everything we do. So let us honor his legacy by continuing to strive for excellence in service of our country and its people. And with that, I'd like to thank you once again for joining us on this journey. If you found this video informative and insightful, please consider subscribing to our channel and sharing it with others who may benefit from it. Together, we can continue to explore the fascinating world of politics, security, and leadership. Until next time, take care and stay safe.